Welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I am going to continue my discussion of some of the features that have been added or are being added for C++ 20. Now, something you may not appreciate as you watch these episodes is I only show features that I already have some compiler implementation for and which I am relatively certain will make it into C++ 20 without any significant changes. If you have been browsing the list of features on cbpreference.com, as I mentioned in the uh, other recent episodes here, you might notice this thing that says prohibit aggregates with user declared constructors. Now I will demonstrate this issue and then show how it changes in C20. So at the moment, I am going to set this in C17 mode for my compiler options here. And I'm going to create a simple struct. And on this topic, this episode is actually going to be quite short. Now, this struct, I'm going to create a couple of integers in it. And now with aggregate initialization, which was added in C++ 11, it is possible to do something like this. I am directly initializing the members of the struct. So i is the value 1, j is the value 2 now. And this is because of this braced initialization syntax that was added in C++ 11 as well. Now I'm going to add this, and yet this code still can be continues to compile. And we might have thought, well, this would prevent this code from compiling. So the short of the uh, topic here is that in C++ 2a, this code fails to compile. No matching function for a call to this braced initializer list, blah, 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 because we provided a, a constructor and we're trying to directly initialize things. To be clear, if I put this back in C++17 mode, there's few cases where we would actually see this except for a deleted. So in this case, I have just a forward declared default constructor. This still fails to compile in C++17. If I go back and delete this, or if I add a constructor that takes a single integer, something like this, then I'm still going to get no matching function call to this because it's going to be looking for one of these constructors instead. But this is a very tiny change to the language that patches a, uh, a bug effectively, a hole in how objects were initialized, and hopefully it will make some of the initialization rules a bit more simple. So thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. I hope you liked it.